Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. In today's episode, we're going to be working on a waterfront structure. It's a quick build with a lot of character. But hey, before we get started, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. All right, well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Okay, today we're going to be working on a small kit from Pelican Rock which was the um, limited edition kit uh, for this year from Foscale Models. The kit we're going to work on, or the structure we're working on, is this one right here. All right, so let's get out all the parts that we need. Don't be overwhelmed by all of the parts in the kit. Uh, there is a lot, but everything is well numbered and it all matches to the numbers in the instructions. Now, this page right here is what we're building. So you have the structure, the little pier, and the little gangplank that goes to the next level so let's find our pieces which is right here we just need these right here and as you can see in the instructions the red is the bracing that we'll put on the back side of the walls and then the green is the corner trim that we'll put on the edges all right let's get started on that you want to take a small file and file the edges so they're nice and smooth. Okay, my bracing is done and I even added nail holes. Um, I just braced them according to the uh, instructions. Now we'll get a stain put on these. We'll use murky brown. Now I'm painting the walls yellow. And I'm doing each individual board. And I'm using a Vallejo color called flat yellow. So I took my blade and I lifted some of the boards, just a few here and there. Now we're going to take murky brown again and go over the walls. I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up. That way it's a little heavier or darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. Okay, our little structure is all glued together. Now, looking at the instructions, uh, we can build the, uh, the deck. Um, let's see. There's two pieces that are 621, and then a top piece, 704. So, here are the two bottom, 621. Those get glued on top of each other. And then this is the 704, and it gets centered on there like that. So I just put glue on here and smeared it all the way to the edges. Very important that it goes all the way to the edges. And 
now we'll glue it to this. Just wiping off the extra glue. Now we'll put a weight on that. I wanted to quick show you that I added a piece of bracing in there. This wall was slightly um, curved back in. So I just put that in there so that it was uh, perfectly square. Okay, for this, I'm going to cut this right there. Because for this project, all we need is this side. Um, these will get used later. I wanted to show you quick in the instructions. So all these pieces make up uh, this right here. Which gets put... Uh, right there. Okay, I took a quick lunch break and uh, came back and just started working and didn't film it. So let me quick get you uh, caught up. Um, on this little dock, um, I actually added one more piece. So there's three pieces in there just to raise it up a little bit more. Because I know someday when I pour the water... That'll be um, more at the water level. Um, let's see. The, um, the top is a solid piece of wood that has scribed lines on it. And you can see I made mine probably an eighth of an inch bigger than uh, the rectangle that came in the kit. Now I roughed up the edges and then with my blade um, put some cut lines in there. Now this stain, this is how I used to stain all of my wood. I would take bittersweet chocolate and neutral gray and mix these 50-50. Then simply add water to it and use it as a stain and brush it on. After it dries, take some sandpaper and don't go over the entire thing. Just go over some individual boards and maybe the edges. Just kind of rough it up a little bit. And that's it. And I really think that that is a great stain color. Um, I think the wood looks really, really good. Okay, then building the uh, walkway, I first sprayed everything with a gray primer then I wanted to kind of match this so I just started using um, different colors that we have new wood light wood um, iced coffee is a great wood color and then mixing the uh, bittersweet chocolate and neutral gray. And if you don't have neutral gray, you could also use a uh, slight gray. Okay, um, now these pieces here, you can see I used a reddish brown primer on them. Now I'll take the uh, bittersweet chocolate and do some sponging over it. And then once, once everything's glued on there, and we'll get to this point, um, I'll probably take some, uh, where'd it go? Right here. It's a gunmetal gray. 
and we'll put that maybe on the top of the railings here uh, just sponge a little bit of this on there I painted a couple details um, next I'm going to glue well no I'm getting ahead of myself I should probably read the, <laughs> read the instructions <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after reading the instructions, um, I put on the roof card and the trim underneath the roof. Now we'll put on some corrugated uh, material, um, which is right here. We'll have to put a gray primer on this, add some rust with a sponge, and then get it glued on there then we can glue it onto our deck okay i sprayed a gray primer on these corrugated panels and i have them in order so the peak would be here and then these go down so the edges are here important to know when you're adding your rust okay i'll quick blow dry this and then we'll move on to a burnt sienna in our bittersweet chocolate. Then take a dark brown marker and go over the edges. And very lightly, if you can drag it, it sort of hits the top of those ribs on there gives it a nice effect any any dark brown marker will do okay important to keep them in the same order that they go on the roof now we'll get those glued on and then we'll put a board right down the center now we can get this glued on. <laughs> Wait a minute. One second. Let's put a gooseneck lamp above that. Yeah. And I think I already have a wire that is bent. Sometimes I bend a bunch of them. Yeah. So I put it down further than what I'm going to have it and then put the glue on it and then I'll just raise that shade up so a little bit of the wire is sticking out. Makes it sort of look like a light bulb. Okay, we'll let that dry. And then we have to drill a little hole right above the door for this. Okay, the lamp is in place. And I had a a bluish piece of trim I'm not sure what it came off of but it was just laying right here on my desk so I just glued that on the top eventually we'll put a couple pigeons or a seagull up there now finally we can glue this on Okay, I've cut the four posts and I cut them all an inch and a half long. Now I'm going to take my file and sort of round the edges.
Okay, now we'll stain them. And I'm going to use bittersweet chocolate and neutral gray. I'll mix it 50 50, add some water, and paint these. Okay, now we'll get some slimy grime on the bottom of these. Oop, I need some thinner. Just have some odorless thinner. In case you didn't see what that was. Now we'll take a little bit of gunmetal, it's a metallic color, and uh, metallic silver. Okay, now we have to cut out these little rings. Uh, I'll look at the instructions, but I'm guessing super glue these on each corner and then I'll glue the ring and attach it to the sides okay now we're going to attempt to glue these rings on <laughs> it was going too easy. Oh, almost lost it. All right, this is a great addition to the scene. Uh, it's like it was made for this spot. I absolutely love it. All right, well, like always, a huge, huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Uh, this show is not possible without the help and support of all of these people. I truly, truly appreciate you all. All right, well, until next time. Stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone. <laughs>